Good morning, everyone. Welcome to St. John's Parish Church for our service of Holy Communion this morning for Plough Sunday as we mark the start of dinner. My name's Beverly and I'm at St. John's Parish Church and it's lovely to welcome everyone who's here in person in church and also to welcome those of you joining us online this morning. Do say hello in the comments. Uh, I hope at home you've got um, maybe some gardening tools or seeds with you as well to join in the service this morning. Um, thanks for bearing with us for all the, um, the restrictions that we have at the moment. For um, Thank you for wearing your masks and sanitising and we're continuing with taking contact details for for contact tracing and uh, offering communion in, in one kind uh, with just with the bread only. And I do encourage you to take a lateral flow test um, before you come to church as well, if you're able. It's, it's great to have um, little ones with us today. There's always room at the back of church to play and have a wriggle and toilets and baby changing uh, through on the left. All the words for the service are on the screen this morning and the hymns as well. And please join in uh, with the words in bold type, in bold yellow type for the service. Would you please stand? Let us pray. Father God, thank you for the gift of this new day, for Plough Sunday as we mark the start of the farming year, and for the opportunity to gather together to thank you for all the good gifts you give us and to bring you our praise and worship this morning. In Jesus' name, Amen. We come from scattered lives to meet with God. Let us recognise God's presence with us now. As God's people we have gathered, let us worship God now together across the miles yet joined. The Lord be with you and also with you. And please, would you sit as we come to a time of confession? Please be seated. In the light of Jesus, let us examine ourselves and confess our sins. And we take a moment to allow the Holy Spirit to bring to mind anything from the past week where we want to say sorry to God. And we pray together. Father, we have sinned against heaven and against you. We are not worthy to be called your children. We turn to you again. Have mercy on us. Bring us back to yourself as those who once were dead, but now have life through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Father forgive you by the death of the Son, and strengthen you to live in the power of the Spirit all your days. Amen. And we stand to sing our first hymn, We Plough the Fields and Scatter. Please stand.
please be seated. And the collect, the special prayer for Plough Sunday. Almighty God, whose will it is that the earth and the sea should bear fruits in due season, bless the labours of those who work on land and sea, grant us a good harvest and the grace always to rejoice in your fatherly care. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. And we remain seated as Myrtle reads our first Bible reading. The first reading is taken from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. A time for everything. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And please remain standing for our Gospel reading. Thank you, Rosie. Gospel reading is taken from Matthew, chapter 6, verses 25 to 33. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Do not worry. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. It's not life more than food, and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying at a single hour to your life. And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor 
was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and the righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, through weak human words, give us grace to hear your true and living word, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Well, uh, a bloke on a tractor has just driven past me shouting, the end of the world is tonight. And I'm not entirely sure, but I think it was Farmageddon. <laughs> well, today we celebrate Plough Sunday, a traditional celebration of the beginning of the agricultural year. Plough Sundays traditionally held on the Sunday after Epiphany, and work in the fields didn't begin until the day after Plough Sunday, Plough Monday. And the observance of Plough Sunday on the first Sunday of Epiphany dates back to Victorian times. But there's a much older observance behind it associated with the first working day after the 12 days of Christmas. Although the nature of farming has changed over the centuries, Plough Sunday is a great way of celebrating farming and the work of farmers. And this is a service of prayer, dedication and blessing for all those involved in agriculture and the countryside. It's an opportunity to cherish the land and human labour and to remind us all of our dependence upon God. In our Bible reading from Ecclesiastes, we've heard how there's a time for every season and that life has its ups and downs and we must hand everything over into God's hands. As we celebrate Plough Sunday, we remember that there's a time to plant and a time to uproot. Uh, and any of you who are keen gardeners will know there's definitely a time to uproot weeds when you get some pesky weeds in your garden. In our Gospel reading from Matthew, Jesus says that God cares so much for the birds and flowers and feeds and clothes them and remember he created them yet we are even more valuable to God so he will feed and clothe and look after us and we don't need to worry rather than chasing after these things for ourselves we're to seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness and then all these other things will be given to us as well well, in the past, we've had uh, interviews with farmers. Um, we have interviewed Daphne before now. Um, but rather than have um, an interview with someone this year, we're going to watch a short video about farming Jersey Royals, and then we'll bless the plough and milk churn and also ask God to bless our tools and seeds if you were able to bring any with you. So uh, let us pray, and then we'll, we'll watch the short video. Lord Jesus, we acknowledge you as King. Be Lord of our lives and prepare our hearts as we wait for your return. Amen. And I found it quite fascinating because you often see the tractors going about on the roads or maybe people at work in the fields, but I never quite know what the process is for, for farming Jersey Royals. So this, this uh, short clip gives a bit of an insight. Thanks. Welcome 
to Jersey, the wonderful island of the best potato in the world. I hope that for generations on, these potatoes will be Jersey. In October, the workers will size them into potato boxes and in January, we start planting. We then cover them to try and protect them from the frost. In April, we start harvesting them. The first fields are called coaties. They're on steep slopes, so it's all a manual work. You've got a plough at the bottom and a tractor at the top with a winch. It pulls the plough up and the potatoes are then discovered to pick by the workers. My potatoes, dug this morning, will have been taken to the pack house. They will be graded into two sizes, transported to the factory. They will be washed, hydrocooled, and packed into Morrison's packaging. Then onto the boat and we'll be in your shops the very next morning. I love my Jersey potatoes. To me, the Jersey Royal potato is Jersey. So an insight into the Jersey Royals, you can think of that next time you're having some Jersey Royals. I like a little bit of butter on mine. So now we're going to have the blessing of the plough and the milk churn. Thank you to um, Liz for um, bringing in the plough and the milk churn. And I've borrowed the milk churn from the parish hall as well, the one that's decorated for the twinning. So if Daphne and Liz could come up, we'll have the, the blessing of the plough and the milk churn. We come to Plough Sunday as representatives of the people of the parish church to offer the work of the countryside to the service of God. We welcome you as together we recognise our dependency on God and pray God's blessing upon all God's people and the work that is ours. For the rich soil of the countryside, for the good seed, and for the crops springing out of the earth, we thank you, God, and praise your holy name. For the warm sweetness, for the fertile rain, for the hot days of ripening sun and for the harvest, we thank you, O God, and praise your holy name. For the yield of the forest, the earth and the sea, we thank you, God, and praise your holy name. For all who work on the land, in the mines or on the waters, and for their courage in days of difficulty and disappointment, we thank you, God, and praise your holy name. For those who work in offices, shops and in transportation, we thank you, God, and praise your holy name. For these and all your blessings, we thank you, God, and praise your holy name. Amen. And if everyone wants to get their seeds and tools ready for the stage. The plough is the sign of all our labour in the countryside. The plough is the foundation of the farmer's work. Before the soil can be broken, or the seed sown, or the green corn grow, or the grain be reaped, or the bread baked, or the people be fed, the fields must be ploughed. So, at the beginning of another farming year, we bring the plough to this parish church as a symbol of all the work on the land, that you may give God's blessing to the work on the farms of this parish and island. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God speed the plough, the plough and the ploughers. God speed the plough in fair weather and foul, in success and disappointment. God speed the plough. God speed the plough. This churn stands here to represent the milking herds 
and all the work done in the tending of animals, that you may give God's blessing on those who work with them and care for the animals. Bless, O God, the cattle and the horses and all the animals in our care. And as we care for them, may God enrich our hearts in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And a final prayer, if you've got any tools or seeds, you might want to just hold them up. By your blessing, let these tools for farming and gardening be a sign of all that you promised to us. Prosper the work of our hands and provide abundant crops for your people to share. Amen. And now we remain seated as Beryl leads us in our prayers. This morning we have special prayers for Plough Sunday and there's also a response. When I say we ask in faith, please respond with, hear us, good Lord. Let us ask the God of creation to send a blessing upon us. Upon the rich earth, send a blessing, O Lord. Let the earth be fruitful and its resources be hallowed. We ask in faith, hear us, good Lord. Upon human labor, send a blessing, O Lord. Prosper the work of our hands. May all find dignity and just reward in their work. Free the exploited and the oppressed. We ask in faith. Hear us, good Lord. Upon the produce of the earth, send a blessing, O Lord. Guide us into a sustainable future and give us the will to share the fruits of the world. We ask in faith. Hear us, good Lord. Upon the seas and waters, send a blessing, O Lord. Teach us to cherish the water of the earth and to conserve the seas, lakes and rivers. We ask in faith. Hear us, good Lord. Upon aid agencies, send a blessing, O Lord. Where the earth is parched and the well has run dry, where war bring wants and children go hungry, where the poor cry out for bread and for justice. Give hands to care and heal, and compel us to be generous. We ask in faith, hear us, good Lord. We pray for t today for those who are ill, whether in body, mind, or spirit. We remember those who are bereaved, that in the midst of their loss, pain, and suffering, they would know the depth of your love for them. We remember especially Lucy in Clifton, Tony in Lakeside, and Doris in Ronceray. We pray for healing for Mary, unwell in hospital, and also for Margaret, unwell at home. And also a speedy recovery for Ali, her daughter Chloe, and Chloe's boyfriend Max, who are isolating at home due to COVID. We take a moment to bring to God the names of those to us known, either out loud or in the silence of your hearts. We ask in faith, hear us, good Lord. As part of Christians Together in Jersey, on this day, we pray for St. Mary's Anglican Church and the Reverend Canon Tim Neal. We also pray for Christians Together in Jersey, whose aim is to encourage active Christian unity and to strongly allow the principle of only doing separately what cannot be achieved together. We ask in faith. Hear us, good Lord. And our prayer for growth. God of mission, who alone brings growth to your church, send your Holy Spirit to give vision to our planning, 
wisdom to our actions, and power to our witness. Help our church to grow in numbers, in spiritual commitment to you, and in service to our local community. We ask in faith, hear us, good Lord. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Would you please stand? Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. And let's greet one another with a wave. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you at home. Now we remain standing to sing our second hymn, Morning Has Broken. John's Parish Church, you can give a gift on the collection plate by the door or use the contactless card reader or follow the link to tinyearl.com stroke St John's Church JE to our online giving page. And let us pray. 
Father God, thank you for the gifts that will be given this morning and for those given by other means. Use them for the relief of need and the growth of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Please be seated. (coughs) The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ you shared our life that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. All who love the Lord Jesus are welcome to come forward and receive bread. If you prefer to receive a blessing, please come forward with your head bowed and your hands by your side. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
communion, we pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Now it's time for our church family news. My name's Beverly, and it's lovely to welcome you to our service of Holy Communion for Plough Sunday this morning. Welcome to everyone here in person and those joining us online. Our services next week on Sunday the 23rd are um, eight o'clock traditional Holy Communion and half past nine contemporary Holy Communion. And um, we're looking forward to welcoming Brian Penaluna to talk about the work of Mission to Seafarers at our Sunday services next week. Um, if we just go on to the next slide, um, if you remember, we were asked to collect toiletries for Mission to Seafarers before Christmas, and um, uh, with what we gave, they were able to help over 200 seafarers on 14 ships, and there's a thank you letter on the mission giving notice board. Um, so uh, it would be great to hear from Brian a little bit more about you know, where all the toiletries went and the work that they do. Um, do join us this Tuesday for coffee and croissants from 10 a.m. to half past 11 in church, Tuesday the 18th. Um, if restrictions change or anything, uh, we'd, we'd let you know. But all being well, that will be going ahead. Um, Graham and I had a lovely evening last night with a few people round at the rectory for dinner yesterday evening. Uh, it was just great to have a bit more time to, to chat to one another over a meal. And we've got a few more dates coming up for dinner. The next one is in a couple of weeks, Saturday the 29th of January. There's still some spaces for that. And then there are also uh, as a date in February and a date in March. So do sign up on the welcome table for that. The next Little Oaks Sunday Club is in three weeks on the 6th of February at half past nine. And um, during Lent, we're going to be running a Lent course with four sessions on um, um, forgiveness, peace, hope and purpose using uh, some of a, a course called Hope Explored. And um, it's going to be a great way to explore faith for whatever you do or don't believe, um, looking at how we can have um, hope for the future based on what God has done in the past and how that affects our present. Um, so it'll be Wednesday evenings, 7 till 9 at the rectory on the 9th, 16th and 30th of March and 6th of April. And um, quite informal with a, a video clip, uh, looking at the Bible, some more video and then uh, opportunity for discussion. And if you're interested or you'd like to know more, then please um, uh, let me know. Uh, and if you'd like to join, then sign up on the sheet um, on the welcome table. Um, do join us for coffee after the service. Please continue to keep your masks on apart from when you're actually uh, having your coffee. Thank you. And now we're going to sing our final hymn. Now thank we all our God. Please stand for our final hymn, now thank you all and God.
and now a final blessing. May God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the source of all goodness and growth, pour his blessing upon all things created and upon you, his children, that you may use his gifts to his glory and the welfare of all peoples. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Tend the earth, care for God's good creation, and bring forth the fruits of righteousness. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.